Hi, I'm Jude Charman and welcome back to my Bridal Bite series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make home cured salmon in chilli and ginger with a beautifully fresh cucumber pickle. So the first thing I'm going to do is make up my cure mixture and that is literally salt and sugar. Now you can do it with pure salt but then your finished product is going to be really salty and you're going to need a load of acid to try and counteract the saltiness. So I've got some sugar which is just caster sugar and then sea salt. Now it's a slightly more expensive way of doing it but instead of using table salt which has got a really fine grain which will go into the salmon which will make it extra salty, this should sit on the top a little bit more but still have the same effect and what curing does is it draws out some of the moisture it changes the texture of the salmon so that it becomes a lot firmer and it sort of preserves it really so the great thing about this if you are doing your own wedding buffet you can do this up to a week before have it all set in the fridge and you don't really need to worry about it until the later stages but the hard work will be done for you so that's just the salt and the sugar which I'm going to mix now traditionally you'd put a few black peppercorns a bit of dill and a bit of lemon zest but I'm sort of going with an Asian twist and especially if you're having a summer or spring wedding this will really sort of jazz it up a little bit so in there I'm going to put some chili flakes now not too much of the heat will come out of this but it'll just give it a slight warm undertone mix those in and now I'm going to put in some lime zest you can finely grate it if you want to but to be honest with you I get a little bit bored so I've just used a peeler and I'm going to put strips of that in now keep these for your drinks later on and I'm going to mix that in and then the final bit is going to be some ginger. Now there's no need to peel it but you do want to just finely chop it. You can grate it but I find it just gets caught up in the grater. Try not to use that lazy ginger. I know it's tempting, one less thing to chop but it has got a little bit of um, citric acid in it to preserve it and it'll just cure the salmon in a slightly different way and it's not as nice. So just finely chop that, you don't have to be too precise, you're never going to eat any of this curing mixture. Catch that little rogue bit, that can go in. One last mix up and that is literally the cooking bit done. Now what I'm going to do is get some cling film and lay that out on my board. So I'm going to do a double strip of cling film, just for a bit of extra strength. I'm going to do that twice so that I've got enough surface area. If you've got big catering cling film, which my mother has, I'm not sure why, because she's not a caterer, but that's even better. And now you want to put half your cure mix in a line along the bottom. Spread it out a little bit. The great thing about this is even if you're not a cook, and you're finding the whole wedding stress a little bit too much but you've decided to save a little bit of money and do the catering yourself even you can do it or get your other half to do it so the salmon goes on top now this is just a fillet of salmon which now you can get on offer in the supermarket so it's relatively cheap and this will feed a lot of people I've pin boned it so there are no bones and then I've had the skin removed as well your fishmonger should do all of that and then on top the rest of the cure Spread it out a little bit and then you just simply want to wrap it up. Try and get it as tight as you can and that will hold all the salt and the sugar and those lovely flavours onto the salmon. Fold up the ends and then get yourself a tray. Now you want a tray with a slight lip to it. This is quite deep but not as deep as that will work as well because all the moisture, the water in the salmon is going to run out. Now if you're short of time and you've only got a day or two before your wedding and you haven't got round to doing this because you've been doing table plans and all that sort of thing, you can put another tray on top and weight it down with a few tins. This will help squeeze out some of the moisture. But if you've got up to a week, just leave this. Now what will happen is water will run out into the tray. Just every couple of days, pour that off so it's not sitting in the liquid and you can turn this over. But that is simply it, it can go in the fridge minimum two nights, maximum a week. 
So to go with my salmon, I'm going to pickle some cucumber. The sort of sweet sharpness goes really well with the salty salmon. So I've got some rice vinegar here, and then a bit of caster sugar. And you just want to mix that until it's dissolved. It won't dissolve completely, but just give it a bit of a stir. And then a good pinch of salt. Not too much, but it's just to try and balance out some of the sweetness. A bit like when you make a cake. You often use a bit of salted butter or a pinch of salt. It just balances sweetness. So give that a bit of a mix. Again, if it's your wedding day, you don't have to be doing this the morning of in your dress and your curlers and your dressing gown. You can quite simply do this a couple of days before or the day before and just leave it in the fridge. So that's now dissolved and I've just got some cucumber which I've sliced. But if you're not a dab hand with a knife, you can just use a peeler and go across the top or even do long ribbons. It's up to you entirely. So these can go in. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of chopped dill. Now dill's not traditional herb in Asian cookery at all, but it's traditional with cucumber pickle. So I'm just going to add a little bit. It just gives a herby note to it. That can go in. And then I'm just going to give that a good old stir. And then you simply leave it. There's no cooking, there's no heating, there's no messing around with it. If you've got the time, give it a stir every now and then, just so that all the cucumber bits get their fair share in the brining and pickling liquor. But if not, seriously, don't worry about it. What will happen is they'll wilt down, they'll go really soft, and they'll be perfect with the salmon. So I'm just going to set this to one side, and then we'll go and get our salmon out of the fridge. So now it's ready to serve, and all you need to do is thinly slice the salmon. So that's about right. I'm just going to layer a few of these up, and then you just want to serve it with a little bit of your cucumber dill pickle. And there you have it, my home-cured salmon in chilli and ginger with a beautifully fresh cucumber pickle. Why not follow us on Instagram and Twitter and give us a like on Facebook and join me next week for my pulled pork recipe which is sure to delight the crowds.